Well, when it comes to our viewers, uh, you guys are some diehard foodies. The demand for recipes on our website and our Twitter feed is insatiable. Food has always had a special place on City Line, and so have our chefs. So at some point, just like a recipe, we decided to shake things up and throw three of our chefs together. Guess what happened? The three chefs were created. Chaos ensued. <laughs> <laughs> three chefs? Oh, gosh, a pain in the butt. Listen, the three chefs, we are very special. We entertain you, and we have a great hostess to help us make fools of ourselves many times. <laughs> We've got the rowdies in the audience. <laughs> She said, you're a disaster! <laughs> you made a green bacon! <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, baby. There's no jewelry, but actually, I made a rain bacon. That would actually... Hey, I noticed this. Yeah. yeah. What's this? What's this? I got it for Christmas. I like it! Three chefs, you know what? I love the three chefs because Masimo and Michael, I mean, they're really good friends, and I think it also shows that you know, there's a stereotype of a chef being this demanding, this is the way it's gonna be. Well, if that's the, the case, then three chefs can't work together, and we do work together. It's a huge privilege to be part of the Three Chef Show. They've been doing this for 15 or 20 years, and so to be put into that caliber, it's just, it's overwhelming. It feels fantastic, it really does. I now know why I get up at four o'clock in the morning to make a prime rib to come down to City Line. really changed our lives. You know, it's interesting. You come from a high-end restaurant and you come onto City Line and you think to yourself, oh my gosh, I've got this great platform to cook these fancy recipes and have a ton of fun. And Jason, when you first started on the show, you had these ambitions of being very chef-y. Oh, it was totally. I mean, I would take things from the restaurant and put them on the show and I think every viewer was like, what is that? And where did he get that from? <laughs> and it really got overcomplicated. And I think where we really started to connect was when I started to look at things that I do at home and, and how you can actually you know, advance the, the viewers and give them a better meal, a better, better connection. Right. Yeah. Well, just so you know, you are still lovely and chefy, but it is <laughs> nice that people can follow the recipes and really do it at home, and we see it all over Twitter. They take what you guys say word for word, item by item. Word for word. Absolutely, <laughs> and they replicate it at home. Now, some people might think it would be stressful cooking on, uh, on live television, but Randy, you're more stressed getting here. Yeah, the, the show's never really the issue for me. Once I get here, everything's fine. It's the drive down. It's the traffic. It's yeah. worrying if I forgot something. And often, sometimes you do. Right. Um, I remember one morning, I, I jumped out of bed, and it was 8 o'clock, which is two hours late, and I'm swearing, and I'm spinning around the bedroom, and I'm going, oh, oh no, oh, no. I, I messed up. City line, city line, city line. And my wife calmly looked at me and said, get back in bed. It's Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. Yeah, Massimo, I know you've, you've forgotten a few uh, oh, yeah. key ingredients over the years, including Absolutely. pizza dough, and he's making pizza. That's right. <laughs> it happens. 14 it happens. years on the show, Massimo. Randy, four years. Jason, 11 years. Michael, 17 years. We're so happy wow. you came to hang out with us today again. And I wish you guys all luck finally getting a host who actually cooks. <laughs> <laughs>